Hi, Director Doug here, and we're at the HMS Richards Elementary School in uh, Campion, Colorado. And as I promised on my Director Doug segment this week, I said we would be doing a science experiment that was the same as we did, as uh, the kids did in the show. So, Gene, why don't you introduce us to the kids? Oh, before sure. we do that, let's just kind of show what people what are going, what's going on here. I've got this little camera here. I'm going to actually get close-ups of the experiment. There is Joel over there on the boom mic. You may see him from time to time. He actually plays uh, Judah's dad in the programs. Right. And behind the camera, grinning from behind the camera, is Ruben Gomez. He plays Jake Donovan on the program. So everybody's here helping out today. So Jean, why don't you introduce sure. us to the kids and get us started on the experiment? All right, I'd love to. So with us here at HMS Richards Elementary School, Kaylee, Denitzi, Danny, and Herbert. And they are going to help us set up the experiment that as Doug said, the kids in the episode actually did. So we are going to um, grow some corn plants. Hmm, you know yep. what a corn kernel looks like? You've probably all eaten corn off of the cob, but this is what the seeds actually look like. And we're going to um, put them in some warm paper towels, moist, and they are going to germinate and then a plant will grow. So let's go ahead, you guys. Go ahead and take a couple of these corn sure. kernels and a couple of these pinto beans. So we're going to see if these will germinate as well and we can grow a pinto. Um, plant. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper towel and go ahead and fold it into a nice square. So double it up and fold it into a nice square. The two, pe the two pieces of paper okay. towel together. All right. And then what we're want going to want to do is spray it until it's got lots of moisture and then you can line up your seeds right across it. Nice. Do you all like science? Yes. Is that a favorite subject in school? Yes. No. No? No? Oh, <laughs> some yes, on. some no. <laughs> What's your favorite subject? Mm, math. Math, okay, that's good. All right, so Kaylee's got hers. Nice job. So you can go ahead and put your pinto beans and your corn kernels right across there. Okay, guys, your turn. So why do you think that we are adding moisture to these paper towels? Hmm. What do, what do you think seeds need in order to turn into water. a plant? They need two things, right? They need water, water and, sunlight. And, sunlight. and sunlight. There you go. So you're adding the water here. Good, Danny. Just go ahead and put that in here now. There you go. And line up your seeds. Nice. And then you can, Kaylee, you can fold your next paper towel into a square and we'll put that right on top. We got beans and corn going in on this one, eh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice job, Denitzi. So you can fold that into a square. All right. Am I supposed to wet this one? Yes. So you can put it on top and then wet it if you like. That'll work just fine. Good. Okay, what's Herbert got going over here? You're just nice. folding up your towel. Do you want some pinto okay. beans? Too? And you've already soaked the beans, right? Mm -hmm. Or soaked the other paper towel? Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to put some pinto beans in there too? Sure. Okay. Nice. Good job. All right. Herbert, do you want to pass over that um, spray bottle and we'll get the girls going on that part? Thank you. you. Go ahead and give that lots of moisture so seeds can germinate. Nice. Here's an, you've got a row of pinto beans and a row yep. of corn kernels. Everyone did it a little different. I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, do you want to take this magnifying glass? Have you looked at one of these beans under a magnifying glass? It's really neat to see the detail. Good job. Here. All right, and here's the spray bottle back. So I spray this one, right? Yep, you can put it on top and then spray it if you like. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> Can I feel? Yeah, that feels good. So the, it sits and it grows for a little while. So unlike a real science experiment, we are going to kind of pretend for the sake of what we're doing here for Director Doug's video, we're going to let these um, sit in a window cell here though 
in Mr. Bragaw's fifth and sixth grade class, and we're going to ask him to maybe kind of watch it. Will you all watch your science experiments? And you maybe can send us a picture of how it really turns out. But today, what we'll do, now everybody's got the first step done, let's pretend. So what would, what would actually happen if you were doing this science experiment at home is after you had set this, can I use yours as an example? Okay. So after you had set this in the windowsill and it got lots of sunshine, you would lift it off and take your magnifying glass. You want to pass that back, Herbert? Thank you. And you would take your magnifying glass and you would try and open up some of these seeds. They would be nice and soft. And you would look and see if you could see any evidence of a little plant growing. And then you would choose the best seed and you would take it and plant it in some potting soil. So let's just show you what that would look like. Um, I got That's, some potting soil over here. You got some soil, here. soil Director Doug? All there right. You go. Okay, so if you want to just lift out your paper towels and the bottom one. So you can just use the very same container that you've used for the paper towels and then go ahead and pour the potting soil in. Let's leave ours actually. Oh, okay. We're just pretending. <laughs> you want to leave that one and see if it really does germinate in real life. We'll just pretend with Denitzi's. Okay, there you go. And then you would choose, let's guess which one we think is the best. And you just plant it right there in the potting soil. Right like that, can you guys see? Yep. Okay, and then you're gonna need to add some more water because this baby little German germinated seed is going to still need a lot of water and sunlight to grow into a full plant. Do you plant both this and this or just one of them? You could plant either one. You could choose. Maybe, depending on um, the circumstances of when it was growing in the sunlight, maybe one responded better, and you could plant both. Or you could do two separate containers if you'd like. One for the pinto plant and one for the corn plant. There you go. So you want to just use your finger and push that corn kernel right in. And make sure it's covered. Make sure it's covered. And there we are. And a few weeks later, you would have a little corn plant. Isn't that neat? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone, that was fun. Um, will you put your things in the window and tell us how your experiments turn out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Send us, some, send us some pictures if they sprout because by the time our viewers actually see this, which will be a few weeks from now, mm -hmm. yours will probably have, a, have had a chance to actually sprout. We can actually show pictures of what happened with this experiment here. All right? So you guys do that for us. And uh, for all of you watching mm -hmm. at home, do us a favor, when you do the experiment and it actually starts to grow, take pictures mm. and send it to us. There'll be a place on our website where you can upload the picture and we'll post your pictures on the website so people can see what happened to, uh, to all, your other, all your experiments for you at home. So anyway, I think that's great. Yeah. It's a good experiment. Yeah, very nice. And special thanks to Mr. Bragoff for letting us come and Absolutely. visit his 56th grade And he's grade sitting class. over there just watching <laughs> us, making sure everything goes well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.